Hi everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Working on another batch of carbs for Chance, and uh, some of these have been definitely been worked on. Somebody's attempted to fix some of them. Uh, this one, I, I had a good laugh. I get a lot of questions uh, from guys who want uh, to know how to use a carburetor uh, pressure tester on one of these things. So when I started to test this one, just it was obvious this is the one. This is the one I'm going to show you guys what I do. If I can get this little adapter off. Come on now. So you can get these tools at Harbor Freight on up. This one is an actual home light one that I've replaced the hoses on. And, uh, you know, it's just like a blood pressure. Got the little relief here. Gauge goes to 15 PSI. It's more than enough. But the long and the short of it is you need some adapters. So I use little short chunks of hose to slip on the fuel barb to make up the difference. Now, ideally, you get a nice tight fit here, which this is great. You close the valve and you pump it up. This carb's got a big ass problem. Uh, I don't even know if there's a <laughs> metering needle in there, but it sure should build some pressure. And if you hear air just passing through like that, you know you've got a massive problem. So. I'm going to set this aside, and we'll just kind of work on this thing. Uh, this is the kind of scenario one of you guys might come across as you're working on an old uh, you know, saw or trimmer or whatever, doesn't matter. You pick one up, <clears throat> and you don't necessarily know what's already been done to it. So there's two sides to the carburetor. Uh, on almost any carburetor that uh, has a pump. The side closest to the fuel barb is typically called your fuel pump side. And then the side over here by your uh, adjustment needles is typically the metering side. And I'm going to start on that side. Okay, that diaphragm is fairly fairly good. That's interesting. There's a needle in here, but I'll bet I know <laughs> these kits. These uh, these are some aftermarket one aftermarket ones by Raisman, and they include two different sizes of needle here. And I think I know what might be going on with this carb. I'm gonna plug this tester back in. coming out of the throat, so I'm not going to jump to conclusions yet. Let's pull the uh, pump side here. <clears throat> Again, these gaskets don't look terribly bad. So on a carb like this, you've got your fuel barb right here. The fuel's going to come in. And a pulse from the engine is going to move that little flap right there and allow fuel to flow. And it's going to travel through... Looks like we're going to have an internal passage that lets it get filtered before it goes down into the needle side right here. That's where the filter always is, is on the back side of the needle. Let's go ahead and pull the needle out. So this has got a spring underneath it, so be very careful. A lot of these springs are obsolete, and if it goes flying across your garage and you can't find it, you're kind of screwed. Okay. Well, that is the bigger needle. Okay, I'm going to have to do a little more investigating here. 